Greetings, and welcome back to another video. Now, today I have something that's more relevant to what a lot of people are going through. This is my uh, pandemic survival kit. Now, you notice it's a lot smaller than the bags I usually use for my kits, but that's because it's a smaller kit. We have some, now, in it we have some stuff to help set up a quarantine area in your own home, some basic survival stuff, and just general sanitation things, and, well, things to keep you from getting infected with whatever disease it is. Unless it's a zombie virus, in which case, uh, you might just want to carry one of these with you. Regardless, let's get right into it. That wasn't a good idea. All right, so here's all the stuff sorted. And there's the bag. Now, first off, we got a tarp. That is a general thing for setting up a quarantine area yeah, in your house. It's waterproof, six by nine. Those are trails, so it's not gonna be, yeah, yeah, break, yeah, yeah, ruined anytime soon. Now we got a couple trash bags there. Well, they're for general use as trash bags, but also can be used as a backup in case you need more than just a tarp or if the tarp doesn't work. Then we got my hygiene kit. Inside, it's got shampoo, body wash, lotion, toothbrush, toothpaste, comb. You know, what you need to stay clean. It's a pandemic. You're going to want to keep your immune system going. That is going to work well enough. Bandana. A lot of survival uses for a bandana, so not going to really have to go into that. Then, here, we got a mask a poncho, hand sanitizer, and some rubber gloves. Reusable gloves. So, that's gonna be good for keeping you, know, you from actually getting you know, whatever disease it is that you know, you're, you know, you're being, you know, that you're uh, going, dealing with. For us, it's uh, you know, COVID-19. Actually, I might get demonetized for saying that. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I doubt anyone's actually gonna watch this. So, that's going to be good to keep just to make sure you don't get whatever it is you're being quarantined for. Then we got a, an emergency blanket. It's This is good because it reflects your body heat back at you to keep you warm. And the reason why I keep it here is because, well, if you, yeah, when you, you're cold, when you get cold, you can get sick a lot easier. That's, okay, that's actually not true, but it it's a general thing that's good to have. Then we got yeah some waterproof well stormproof matches. I just I just like keeping yeah, a backup fire starter me starting method in all my uh, kits because well it's important even if it's just a pandemic. Then we got an Altoid tin and inside it are is one second a bunch of wire good for various things but. Shell, yeah, quarantine set, yeah, 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 the zone making is also applicable. Then, headlamp. Well, lighting is just a general good thing to have. Duct tape. It's duct tape. I don't need to explain more. Super glue. Kind of the same stuff as duct tape, but less useful, but it can close wounds. Bug spray. Now, it's not true with the you know, with COVID, but it isn't transferred by... Some of the viruses are transferred by mosquitoes, and also just bug spray is useful. Paracord. Same with the duct tape. I don't really think I need to explain more on that. Then I got my Sawyer water filter. Clean wa drinking water is important in all situations, but more so when there's a plague going around. Got a deck of playing cards in case I get bored. I recently learned, I learned how to play blackjack about a year ago, just because, uh, just because, well, same reason I'm going on about. Then I got my first aid kit. It's not, you know, the same first aid kit that, yeah, it's not the same stuff that's in it. I keep, kept running out, so, and I keep putting new stuff in it, so. And then we got my Ziploc bag full of Ziploc bags. This is primarily going to be used for the collection, containment and disposal of, uh, yeah, biohazardous material. Then we got toilet paper. <sighs> Given what's been going around, I'm pretty sure I don't need to explain yeah, why this is here. Or if I would really need to explain it for anything. 
Then we got my canteen. It's aluminum. Got a cut cotton covering. Yeah, lid stuck to it with a chain. But the main reason I keep it is because it's the water filter. I'm not entirely sure if the water filter you know, will work on for whatever virus you're, you know, you're being you know, quarantined for. So boiling your water af you know, afterwards just as an extra precaution might be worth it. So if you don't have anything else to boil your water in, this is a, going to be a solid option. But then again, good, good idea to just have a separate one. Now all of this is what I got. Now, I you know, could have gone with a better, more survival-based approach, but this is designed to, you know, to work to be what you can yeah, be something to have in your own house. Not going into the woods, because if you're surviving a pandemic in the woods, you're clearly going doing something wrong. Or right, I mean, there might be less people there, but regardless. This is what I got. Tell me in the comments what you think. Yeah, am I missing anything? Yeah, is there anything I can do better? Let me know what you think. Now, there's obviously one thing I know I'm missing, but I don't have it, and it's saran wrap. But regardless, thank you all for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button. Yeah, comment on anything specific you want to see. Subscribe and hit the bell icon if you're new here, or if you're not new here and are just not subscribed. And if you'd like to help to support my channel, share this video. Thank you all for watching. This is Random Man, signing off.